Hello everyone, it's me Jonathan here to give you another of our wonderful children's ministry lessons. Summer's here and as you can see I'm wearing my summer bucket hat. It's been too long since I got to wear one of these puppies and I'm excited to be showing it off again because it's time for the beach, it's time for sunshine, and it's time for good times. And I'm so happy to share with you an amazing message, an amazing Bible story today that is such one near and dear to me and a, a very good read and an excellent story to sit down and study. Today, we're going to talk about the early church. Now, we've been going through the early church in our Sunday morning series, talking about the various things that happened as the church began in Jerusalem almost 2,000 whole years ago. And we've been talking about the leaders in the early church. And today, we have a story about one such leader in the early church. But before we do that, let's pause and let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for bringing us all here, Lord, for the opportunity to learn more about you, Father. We thank you for summertime. We thank you for the church, Lord. We thank you for your son, Jesus. Help us learn now. It's your name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. So the church was growing and growing. And so the apostles brought on some leaders to help assert things in the church. And these were godly men and women who were all about sharing the word of God. And among them was a man by the name of Philip. Now Philip was on a journey one day. He was heading south, south of Jerusalem. And along his way, he had a very special encounter. And we're going to read about that in the book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 26. So flip in your Bibles to Acts chapter 8, verse 26, and here is what it says. As for Philip, an angel of the Lord said to him, Go south, down the desert road that runs from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out, and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia, who served under the queen. He was going to Jerusalem to worship and was now returning. Seated in his carriage, he was reading aloud from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, Go over and walk alongside that carriage. Philip ran over and heard the man reading from the prophet Isaiah. Philip asked, Do you understand what you are reading? So Philip is told by the Holy Spirit to head south of Jerusalem. And as he does so, he sees a man in a carriage. This man was from a country called Ethiopia. That's a country that's still around today. And Ethiopia is a country in Africa. Now it just so happened that this man was a high-ranking official in the kingdom and worked directly under the queen of Ethiopia. He had gone up to Jerusalem to worship and was now heading back home. And Philip overhears him reading from the book of Isaiah. The Holy Spirit tells Philip to go over and to chat it up with this guy. So Philip heads on over to the Ethiopian man and asks him if he knows what he's reading. Their conversation continues. Let's pick it back up again in verse 31. Verse 31. The man replied, How can I unless someone instructs me? And he urged Philip to come into the carriage and sit with him. The passage of scripture he had been reading was this. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter. And as a lamb is silent before the shearers, he did not open his mouth. He was humiliated and received no justice. Who can speak of his descendants? For his life was taken from the earth. The man asked Philip, Tell me, was the prophet talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with the, with the same scripture, Philip told him the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water. And the man said, Look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized here? He ordered the carriage to stop. And they went down to the water, and Philip baptized him. So, what happens is, the man asks Philip to help him explain the passage. The passage from the book of Isaiah and spoke about the suffering servant, about somebody who gave it all and was tortured and humiliated and harmed. The man was confused about who Isaiah was referring to. Was it himself or someone he knew or who was it? Well, Philip is able to explain that, that, that those words that the man was reading from the book of Isaiah were about Jesus himself. And that those words were fulfilled when Jesus was on the cross. Philip explains the gospel to this man and how the whole Old Testament points to Jesus. And this Ethiopian man was greatly influenced by what Philip had to say. And he embraced Jesus. And then they passed some water and Philip took the man into the water and baptized him before the Holy Spirit took up Philip 
and sent him on his next mission. It's an amazing story about how the gospel spread in those days. Many believe that the Ethiopian man who Philip met is the reason that, Af that Africa had the gospel introduced to it, that the gospel spread across Ethiopia. It just goes to show how this gospel, which started being told in Jerusalem, soon began to spread across continents. It's truly an amazing thing. And it makes me think, I wonder who I'm going to run into. And I wonder who the person I share the gospel with, who will they then share the gospel with? And where will it go from there? God has given us a command to share his word wherever we can go. And we should take God up on that and seek opportunities to spread the gospel in a friendly, kind, and encouraging way. Philip was able to do that. And as a result, I'm sure a lot of people in Africa began to hear about the gospel message. You never know the person that could walk by you during the day, the person that you'll get the opportunity to share the gospel with. If we're brave enough to follow the Holy Spirit guiding us in sharing the gospel, great things will happen and more people will come to know Jesus. It's a wonderful gift, and it's something we should go out there and share. Well, that's all I got in today's message. Like I said, it's an exciting one, and it's a fun one, and it's a very cool one when you think about the effect that it had. Well, before we wrap it up today, I would love to pray with all of you back home, so why don't you bow your heads and pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for the story of Philip and the Ethiopian man. God, we thank you that the gospel got to spread across the continent of Africa, Lord, and across the whole world. Help us continue to spread your gospel and do it faithfully to you. It's in your name we pray, and everybody said, Amen. All right, everybody, go out, get yourself a fun summertime bucket hat, and enjoy the sunshine. Bye-bye.